My first clutch of 2021 is all shut out. They're beautiful. I want to show you what I'm holding back, what I'm going to make available. But most of all, I need your help in sorting out what's going on in these jeans. Let's get to work. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Adam at Proper Royals. Thank you for being here today. If we've never met before, this channel is all about my family's journey from ball python hobbyist to a ball python business. And it's all happening right here on the channel. The links to all of our socials are below and our Morph Market store, as well as our collection of Proper Royals NFTs if you're into the crypto game. So our first clutch from 2021 has shed out. They've actually been eating a little bit. I'm a little behind on the uh, clutch reveal video or the first shed video. And there was a little bit of a saga to this clutch. So I want to show off everything that we got going on. It's a really cool clutch and I need your help in figuring out what's going on in there. So here's the history. I had a, obviously a breeder female. She was banana het ghost. I think that's it, but we're gonna come back to maybe there's something more in there. So I wanted to work on my clown project, so I paired her to a visual clown pastel. In that time, I didn't see a whole lot of locks, and then I was concerned I was gonna miss out on breeding season, so I have a Super Mojave male as well, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna pair her with this Mojave just one time as sort of a hedge, just in case the male doesn't go, because he hadn't been proven for me. I bought him as a mature adult, so I didn't know. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss out on a potential clutch for this season with that mom. I love banana, and I always wanna work things into my recessive projects. So I had, uh, excuse me, the Super Mojave is a ghost or a het ghost. I'm not sure which, because he's all white. But her being het ghost, him being either ghost or het ghost, I said, you know what, that's a perfect hedge right there. Let's put him in with her one time. Fast forward, she ovulates, has eggs, obviously. Uh, great clutch, eight eggs. Out of the eight eggs, we get six bananas out of it. So really cool odds for a banana project of anything. As I'm cutting, if you saw the, uh, the uh, cutting video, I was a little bit dumbfounded because those babies look ghost. I haven't cut baby bananas before, so I wasn't quite sure what was going on in there. You gotta check out the video, I'll put a little clip, but I, I'm just like dumbfounded in the clip. I, I really wasn't sure what was going on. I think that's a banana. Yep, we got a banana in here as well. Okay, that is cool. What is going on? That's an orange ghost. Look at that thing, look how orange it is. What? I really went down the ghost rabbit hole. I said, man, I got visual ghosts. These are cool. But what I've come to think is that they were banana babies that hadn't shed yet. And they had that kind of pasty ghostish look. And I posted on a lot of Facebook groups. I posted on Instagram. I've, I've posted some uh, looking for some help here on YouTube as well. As is often the case, the simplest answer is the most reasonable. Especially when people started saying, I'm not sure that you've got Mojave in those. And if one of the potential sires is a Super Mojave, they have to have Mojave. If there's Hypo, there's Mojave. That's it. Now it's possible that the clown, I suppose, could be Het Ghost. However, even still, for the Mojave to be the father, they have to have Mojave in it. He's a Super Mojave, excuse me. The babies would have to have Mojave. So I went back to the basics and I was looking and I'm like, I agree, I don't think there's any Mojave in here. I went so down, so far down into the rabbit hole of ghosts, I skipped over the, the really basic simple part that they gotta have Mojave. So I've eliminated the Super Mojave as the father. There's not Mojave in those. It's pretty plain to see, I'll show you. Even with the incredible het, various het, potential het influences, I still think that the clown is the father without any Mojave. We're gonna check that out in a minute. So now, I'm doing the, the math and the possible outcomes. From what I know of the, of the parents, the possible outcomes are normals, visually, bananas, pastels, pastel banana. Four combinations, right? 
I got at least five combinations out of this clutch and maybe a super pastel in there as well. So maybe six. So that tells me mathematically there's something more going on in there. There are two outliers that are incredibly different than all the others. And then there's three that are really, really, really busy. Uh, so I'm excited to get your opinions of what's going on. I'm gonna show you the dad because I think I've kind of figured it out that there's one more codom at least, but I think that there's a second and I'll show you why here uh, as we start to look at the babies. So this is the clown that's the father and like I say I'll show you the babies uh, here in just a moment but I want to lay the groundwork for for where we're going here so he is a pastel he's a clown pretty classic look on that but as more and more people on more and more groups and I, I posted on the morph market community as well a lot of people said that the pattern is too reduced on his sides to be just pastel they said there's something reducing these patterns in here versus what you would normally see on a pastel. And going back to the simplest answer is often the most correct answer, theory. You know, for a long time, uh, Blade was so closely tied to Clown. Blade is a pattern reducing gene and it tightens up this uh, lateral line on clowns. So I think that maybe there's some blade going on in here, and I'm gonna talk more about that once we start looking at the babies. But mathematically, again, I think that there's one more going on, or I've got huge variations among the babies. This is a pastel, this is a visual clown. I don't know if he has any other hets, and I think there's one more codom, and maybe it is blade. What do you think? Let's check out the babies. So check out this picture of all of the banana babies together. Now, there were two others in the clutch too, a, a normal and a pastel, pretty basic stuff. I'm gonna skip over those today because the banana input that I'm, I'm really looking for some help on. So from this group picture, you could see that um, the top left has, has its kind of own look going on. Then the top middle and the top right, as well as the bottom center, all kind of have a similar thing going on. And then the bottom left and the bottom right are just totally different from all of the others. And they're their own unique look as well. So that's kind of the overview and that's what I'm trying to figure out. And that's what I want your opinions on. So let's check these things out. So this is baby number one from this clutch. I think this is a single gene banana het clown is what I think that, that this one is. Now his head's a bit washed out and his colors are fairly vibrant. I don't know how well it shows, but his oranges, there's a pinkish orange just on the sides here. And there's a bit of that theme on these, uh, on these babies. So this is hatchling number one. He is shed and he has had his first meal. And I think this one will be available. This is hatchling number two. And he looks quite a bit different than that other one. So the other one has like a light lavender purple and this has like a deep darker purple. So there's an obviously an extra codom coloring um, and really jumbling up the pattern. I believe that this is for sure a pastel banana and obviously the last one was banana as well but look at the yellows and the flamings on the side so where the other one had the the pinkish oranges this one has like a pink yellow and almost no orange influence on here and obviously a much more jumbled up pattern this is almost like a propeller blade in there but I think that this is the heck clown influence these sort of islands up top here Look at that curly Q right there, question mark looking one. But as you can see on the side, I really don't believe that these are Mojaves. These alien heads would be much more keyholes versus like the toast. And the two eyes, alien heads really are, are eliminated with Mojave. So I, I'm convinced that Mojave is not at play in these. So this is number two, and I'm gonna put those two together uh, for comparison side by side here for just a second. So this is number one, and this is number two. And you see what I mean? The different, the different purple influences. 
One is that kind of electric neon purple, and number two is like a concentrated, darker kind of purple. Here's both of them side by side. Number one and number two. This is number four, and I really like number four. He's very similar to number two that we just looked at. Visually, I, I think that there's the same things going on, although he's got more of the deeper oranges like we saw in a little bit of number one and one of the ones I'm gonna show you. The other cool thing about this guy is his paradox breakthroughs. Got one here, he's got some up on his head as well. This guy I think I'm gonna be keeping back just to see everything that's going on. So I think that this is a pastel, possibly super, banana, and possibly whatever else the, the other Kodom that's going on in there is possibly that blade influence, but I'm not sure because of how jumbled up that pattern is. I, you know, blade would typically clean up some of that, but it's really nuanced in some genes versus others. So with clown, it's really, really noticeable, but with others, not so much. So this is number four, and like I say, this uh, this guy's probably gonna be staying with me. I haven't sexed it, I don't know if it's a male or a female. I haven't sexed them yet. All right, this is where things start getting weird. Look how different this one is. Look how deep the oranges are, how deep the purples are. And now you see why I start to say there has got to be something else going on. This guy's colors are incredible. Look at the belly is busy. You got that white bright flaming coming up the side. Look how orange it is. And again, for reference, I'm gonna put them next to the one that we just looked at with the paradox. So that's number five versus number four, the one we just looked at. And you could see just how blazing hot orange that thing is. I mean, those are incredible incredible colors and contrast versus the clutch mate so number five with the darker electric oranges and then this one with the more pastel faded out colors these two will be two of the three holdbacks of the clutch look how different this guy is now look his head is nearly completely washed out so maybe he's a super pastel, maybe there's pastel on both sides going on. But look, his pattern's not all that crazy compared to, to some of the other babies. It's cleaner on the sides here. And again, we start to see orange flaming on him and these flames coming up. And again, just to demonstrate how different these different combinations are. Here's number five, the uh, super orange one versus number eight, and again, you see how different those are. So number one, single gene banana, I think. Banana clown, heck clown. Number two, I don't know, maybe that blade oranging influence, but that's a banana, heck clown, and look at all the color variation. And then this one is a banana, heck clown, and perhaps a super, but he looks way different than the other uh, pastels that I think are supers, like this guy right here. So there are kind of the four different looks from this clutch, and now clearly the math doesn't add up that it's just pastel and banana. So you all tell me what you think's going on. I'd love to hear your input. And in the meantime, how cool are just these four from this clutch? So I've got three that kind of look like this guy. This is number one. I'm gonna put these back before I confuse them. This is not number one, this is number two, excuse me. Speaking of not confusing things. This is number one. I think just banana, heck clown, but look how electric he is, or she is, I don't know yet. So this, one more time, is number five. Bright, bright oranges. And clearly much different with more going on than this one. And then again, for something totally different at the end, is this little guy. And this is number eight. So what a cool clutch, what a cool mystery, right? I think that there's a combination of banana, pastel, blade, and possibly uh, super pastel. Maybe the mom and the dad are both pastel. 
Those babies are 100% Het Clown because they're not Mojave. It makes them 100% Het Clown. I know that and there was only two pairings on that. Tell me what you think. If you're interested in acquiring any of those babies, shoot me an email directly at properroyals at gmail.com and you can email me there anytime you want about anything. I'll respond to you. I promise. Love to catch up and keep up the community. In the meantime, comment in the section below and tell me what you think. There's a ton more knowledge than I have out there that you all will have that you can share with me. So I really, really look forward to it. Thanks for checking it out. How cool on this clutch. Stick around right here on the Proper Royals channel to find out everything that we have going on, everything that's gonna go on with these babies. And until next time, see ya!